All right, guys, hopefully I can get this before the rain comes in. Got a lot of background noise, but as you can tell, house looks a little different. Um, we have moved, and I told you that once I got ready, I would show you the garage, kind of like an introduction, show you what we start with, and then kind of take you along for the build process for the garage itself. Well, we're at the point now where most of the projects in the house the painting, the trim, the flooring, and all that stuff. And most of the moving is done. So now I can kind of shift focus to the garage. Um, well, I'm just gonna spin you around and show you what we got. Now as far as the size of the garage, I'll have to throw that up on the screen somewhere. Uh, I wrote it down, but I can't find the piece of paper now. Uh, but it is considerably larger than what we had before. Um, it has its own breaker. And awesome part is we're kind of starting from scratch, which you know you might think it's bad, but it's actually really good. The walls are open. Right, minus some pegboard and a few pieces of drywall, but nothing serious. Um, that's going to afford us the ability to pull electrical, move some outlets to wherever we need. Uh, we can pull our air, uh, shop air. I can put 220 in. Anything else that we need to do, I can go ahead and do that without having to tear apart the walls, which would suck. So um, I've already got Wi-Fi out here. And it's actually gigabit back to the house, which is really cool, faster than we had before. Um, this little room here, uh, let me show you this room. So you walk in through the sliding door, there's a fan and a heater. It's got a couple windows. And the goal in here is I'll probably pull down this, I guess it's some sort of melanine board. I'll pull that down and probably put drywall up. I'll also, don't mind, got a little little bit of ammo there, um, <laughs> but I'll put some sort of flooring down, we'll put drywall, maybe some, some sort of boarding up on the walls, and I have a really cool idea for this wall here, to do like a pallet wall kind of thing, and we can hang our artwork and signs and stuff up there, and it should look really good. Um, probably do something with the lighting the fan will probably stay or be changed a little bit and then from here all the way around just about I'm gonna build a workbench and this is gonna be the clean room so sorry let me shift you guys around so anything that needs to stay clean and climate controlled I probably will throw a window unit in here we'll go in here uh, the computer that I do all the editing on, the server that I store all my video files and stuff on, the 3D printer, that sort of thing, ammo, um, that'll stay in there. Uh, yes, the golf cart did, was kind of included with the house, I had to pay a little extra, but we got that, that, we're going to be souping that bad boy up too. Um, got a nice little alcove back here because of the, the little room so I think what I'm going to do there is build some shelves and the plasma cutter table the CNC plasma table that's it we'll go over there so I'll have to run 220 dedicated to it plus 110 for the PC and chop saw maybe the band saw all that sort of thing can go over there um, not sure what we're going to do over here. I think the majority of like the well table and motorcycle lift will kind of go here. Uh, for those of you who have caught on to the fridge, it is a kegerator. Yes, it does work. Came with the house. Uh, tap handle was something I added. 
and yes, she's loaded. And hopefully, yeah, it'll stay that way. Um, on this side, I think what I may do is actually move that fridge over into that corner if it'll fit, and then I'll build a new bench. We'll probably pull down and reposition that pegboard because it's in good shape. And we'll build a workbench and I can put a lot of my toolboxes under it and get a lot of my tools hung up on that pegboard. Um, now as far as shop air goes, the bugs are kind of bad out here though. Um, I do want to extend this gravel kind of driveway extension. I want to make that concrete so that we can pull something over here, maybe put an awning or something over here, wash the bikes, cars, whatever. Um, but I want the concrete to either wrap around or pour a separate slab on the back and on that slab do uh, some sort of covering over it. I'm going to put the air compressors, air compressors back there so they'll be enclosed and protected but the noise won't be in the garage and they won't be taking up that space. Here are the pallets. I was talking about that were left here by the previous owner that I'm going to pull apart and hopefully stain and make that pallet wall with. Um, I have a few surprises I'm going to leave for you guys until we actually do it. Uh, one of which is going to be this floor. Uh, we're going to do something pretty sick there. And the lighting. Uh, working with Jason over at Code Makes It Go to imitate but kind of put our own spin on something. If not, you know, we're going to go full hog. Um, I'm going to do a lot of stuff that I wouldn't normally do in a garage because this should be the last garage for me. Unless we add on to this. I'm not moving again. Uh, I can't. I can't do it mentally. My body can't handle it. Um, and I, I think we found our forever home here. So we're going to be staying put for the very long haul, if not indefinitely. So anything I've ever wanted to do in a garage, we're gonna do here. So sorry, it's taken a while, but I'm sure you guys know things have been hectic and the move and everything, yeah, it's been a lot. So like I said, that's starting to calm down. Inside of the house is about done. Got a lot of the outside stuff done. Uh, but it's just been too hot to get anything else done. So, I'm not sure what the schedule on videos is going to be. I'll get them out as soon as I can when there's enough there that's interesting for you guys. I don't want to bore you to death with just sweeping a floor or something. So, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely be filming all of this. And then once we get the garage situated where we can actually do some work in it, we're going to pick back up on our videos. Um, the first thing we will tackle is going to be that room. Uh, get that room done, all finished up, 100%, climate controlled, and we'll get a, our editing rig and our server and everything in there, and the bench built, and we can at least do some work in there and stay somewhat cool um, and get some videos edited and uploaded for you guys. But uh, that's it for this one. Until next time, guys, whenever that may be, get up, get out there, and do it.